If you take a spinning thing and another spinning thing, they will spin. Not big surprise. But if you angle one of the things like so, then moving it side to side will make the other thing spin. That's how an axial engine works. Let's build one. Just like in my previous video on a piston engine, we need something that will offset the pistons from their starting positions. That will be done using these hinges. They will roll the middle block by 20 degrees. These swivel joints will allow the middle section, which will act as the shaft, to rotate. They are also the only non-moving part in this engine. Now I will add the cranks, I suppose. I'll make six of those, so the engine can have six pistons. Here you can see that it spins, and if I angle it, it starts to work like it should. This generates two extra movements that we need to eliminate. First, the cranks roll back and forth, so I'll add a swivel joint on top of each. Second, the cranks travel in an arc. That means their distance from the central axis varies. To counteract that, I will put a hinge on either end of each piston, so it can swing in and out. The pistons go on each hinge. I'll make them a bit thinner, so it's easier to see inside. As the hinges rotate the center block to create the offset, pistons on one side will get stretched, but on the other side, they will compress. Since they are compressed by default, they would have to get squished. I find the engine seems to run a bit better if that doesn't happen, so I'll make the attachment point for the pistons a slider, so they can have a little more freedom. Now I can mirror the whole thing to the other side to double the power. To set up the pistons, start with this one and go counterclockwise. The keys are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Then for the other side, find the piston directly opposite to the first one and do the same thing in the same direction. This way every opposing pair fires simultaneously. Next thing to do is add a controller. I'll put a block off to the side which I set up first and connect it to one of the hinges in the middle. They are the only part that spins without tilting. Just as a demonstration, if I channel my inner pianist, I can already make the motor run. Since this axle isn't very stable, I'll add some reinforcements. I can brace them to the two stationary swivel joints. To control the engine, I will once again use angle sensors. Six of them, actually. I usually try to avoid scaling things too much, but this will be just much better if I can fit all of them on this one block. After some testing, I figure out the angles that work best, and the easiest way to set them. Start at the top, and go clockwise. Set the emulated keys as 1 through 6. Now go to number 3. Set the FROM angle to 15, and the TO angle to 60 degrees more than that, which is 75. Next, go to number 4. FROM will be the same as the TO of the previous one, meaning 75. To get the 2, just add 60 again, which makes 135. Then 5 will be 135 to 195, 6 will be 195 to 255, 1 will be 255 to 315, 2 will be 315 to 15, and you're back where you began. Now if I start the simulation, the motor runs on its own. But I'm not done yet! It 
if I hang the whole thing on some controlled hinges so that I can tilt it and set both the hinges to rotate 90 degrees and return automatically, guess what happens? The engine reverses. A real engine would of course never do that, but here in game it could be quite useful. That's all there is to it. An axial engine all done. By the way, beat my challenge. Link is in the description. Link your winning creations in the comments, and I will showcase them in a future video. Thank you and have a nice day.